former Senate President David Mark says he did not flout any law in the acquisition of his residence in Apo, Abuja. The property is said to be valued at N748 million. Last week, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, grilled Mark over various allegations bordering on corruption. In a statement on Tuesday, Paul Mume, media aide of Mark, quoted him as saying he bought the property when government offered it for sale. The former Senate president wondered why the property is a subject of contention. No amount of persecution would alter the will of God, the statement read. The property was duly offered for sale, bid for, and purchased like any other person would in line with federal government's monetization policy that was started during the time of President Alasegu Obasajo. I had the right of first refusal. Even if I did not purchase it, someone else would have. I am a law-abiding citizen. I did not flout any law. Curiously, four houses occupied by the then presiding officers of National Assembly were offered to the occupants. All of us, me as the then President of the Senate, Deputy President of the Senate, Ike Kwirimaju, the then Speaker of the House of Representatives. Daimji Bowl and his deputy Bayro Afada were all given the same offer. I am at a loss as to why it is now a subject of contention. If this persecution is about politics, my political party and the 2019 elections, I dare say that only God and Nigerians would decide. No amount of persecution would alter the will of God. I had refrained from commenting on this because it is already in the law court but they have taken the matter to the court of public opinion. Senator Mark threw his lawyer Ken Iko in the suit before the Federal High Court, Abuja had said that he followed due process and legally acquired the property from the FCDA on April 27, 2011. Senator Mark is also asking the court for a declaration that an order by the Attorney General of the Federation and one Obu Obla of the Presidential Task Force on Recovery of Government Properties compelling him to vacate the aforesaid property without affording him a fair hearing amounted to a denial of his fundamental human rights, unconstitutional and void. He recalled that the Federal Executive Council decided to authorize the sale of the properties housing the principal officers of the National Assembly because the general security of the area had been altered forward slash compromised due to the sale of the other houses in the legislative quarters to the public. Consequent upon which the houses were offered for sale and duly purchased. Senator Mark was given the first option of refusal upon which he duly accepted on April 21, 2011 and paid the agreed purchase price to the Ad Hoc Committee on Sale of Federal Government Houses on April 27, 2011.